Hello and welcome to my review of the Space Marine Scout Squad for Warhammer 40,000 from Games Workshop. Now, at present, me recording this video, um, beginning of February, you cannot uh, pick up this Scout Squad separately um, from Games Workshop. Uh, if Games Workshop's prices are anything to go by, I would hazard a guess uh, that when they release um, this box of 10 separately, they would cost a minimum of £37.50. Howling Banshees are £37.50 uh, for five. Um, so, you know, could could be worse, I guess. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, so that means the three units, uh, I guess, or three box sets, as you'd call them, uh, in the Kill Team set, would cost you £112.50 and that's not including all the tokens, the book, the softback books and the uh, little bit of scenery that you get. And considering that I picked up uh, the box set for £80 with a discount that was probably £64, I've managed to pick up uh, all of the models um, for half price. No doubt we won't have too long to wait um, for them to be released and they probably will be released alongside uh, the Space Marine Terminator Captain, um, the multi-part one which we haven't seen yet. The format of this review is as usual, uh, I'll have a look at, I will take a look at all of these Scout models individually, look at all the detail and things, uh, go through how easy they were to build, their options, their spare parts, I'll do some size comparisons, yes, with some older scouts. And uh, finally, at the end, I will go through all of their rules uh, found in the 10th edition Space Marine Codex. So first things first, uh, let's have a look at the miniatures themselves. Uh, so you do get 10 and um, there are quite a few options in this kit. Uh, the, the Sergeant has about four different options I mean you can build him as like just a normal scout if you wish um, but if you choose not to he does have a no no number of options I've gone for classic uh, Space Marine scout um, equipment there with a with a chainsaw and a, a bolt pistol could have given him a combat blade it's nice that all the scouts in the set have uh, either a bolt pistol holster with the bolt pistol in or with it removed that's pretty cool another great feature is all of these um accessory parts you don't have to put these grenades on the back of this sergeant hell you don't have to put anything on the back but it does look a little bit odd because there's a, like a a divot um around the belt uh, like like a small divot you won't really notice unless you you know know about space marines know about scouts and uh, look hard enough um, to see it um, so there's an option not to put any accessories on any of these um, but I have for all of them because I think they're pretty good and I've picked the accessories that kind of go with each one uh, in a way but anyway this is the uh, scout sergeant um, pretty cool uh, you can put all of the heads on all of the different bodies uh, it's just some of the arms only go with some of the um, scouts. Of course, their legs and their torsos are all one, which is why uh, you get two models like this that have exactly the same legs and chest. But as you can see, you know, they're pretty different. Uh, even though they've got the same legs and the chests, uh, you know, one's got the holster with the bolt pistol in, one's um, holstering a full you know bolt gun and this is like a primaris bolt gun i have to say um this is actually bigger than the normal space marine bolt guns i've measured them i am that sad uh it's got the all specs he's got the the visors the communication array and the little um head cam maybe i don't know but uh yeah this is just just a normal scout with that all specs and things um he hasn't got a close combat weapon, which I'm a bit worried about, uh, but he's got a uh, scope, which I guess he could put on the, uh, the bolt gun if he wishes. Um, then we've got the heavy weapons scout, so the heavy bolter. Yeah, he's all right. Uh, he's got some extra um, magazines maybe at the back. Uh, it's a shame he doesn't have an extra magazine for the heavy bolter uh, as an option. Um, that would have been cool. Uh, although this, comes as a separate part so maybe you could probably glue that to the back 
of the, the divot. It's not meant to, but um, then I've got another scout with just a combat blade and a bolt pistol. It's important to note that quite a few of these, you can equip them with the um, blades and the pistols. You could equip them with the shotguns. You can equip them with the um, uh, bolt guns. Um, here's a shotgun toting scout. Uh, I like the shotgun with all the, the extra shells on the top. It's very cool. Uh, this one does have a blade though, and maybe I should have put the blade on the all specs um, scout, but that's quite cool. Um, this one, got a nice uh, action pose, firing that uh, grappling hook, um, giving him an extra grappling hook there and grenade and some pouches. I like the uh, uh, head option for that one. Well, as I say, you can mix and match all of them. This one's pretty cool. Um, I, we've never really seen this where uh, we've got kind of like a rebreather. It reminds me of Quake 2 in a, in a way. The rebreather um, actual piping uh, runs around the, the armor and is detached from the, the neck. Uh, we've never seen that before in a scout um, actually making use of the rebreather, which is really cool. I don't know whether he's you know about to go in some water, come out of some water, or he's in a toxic environment. I mean, he's a space marine at the end of the day, so they would have had their, their organ transplants and upgrades and things, uh, enhancements. Um, but still, that's quite cool um, that we've got that. I definitely would use that again uh, if I picked up more scouts. Um, yeah, this guy's got the shotgun. No extra shells on the top, um, but there we go. Um, we've got the sniper. You only get one sniper rifle in the whole set. Bit of a shame, I would have liked to have had at least five Primaris Scouts uh, with sniper rifles. Um, but, you know, at the same time we have got Eliminators. But then again, if we've got Eliminators, why bother putting a uh, sniper rifle in with this group? Um, I would have liked to have sent five. Uh, and uh, yeah, I don't know what he's doing with his hand. Um, maybe he's just put the visor up. Maybe he's about to put the visor down. I would probably say he's about to put the visor down. Um, but there we go. Or night vision goggles, whatever he's got. Got this guy, um, missile launcher. I must say that both the heavy weapons scouts in this set are, are very underwhelming um, compared to their sort of smaller um, metal cousins. Um, it's just just underwhelming. I mean, yes, he's got the different type of missiles there, uh, you know, and he's holding the missile launcher, but just just underwhelming this one and the heavy bolter. And then we've got this one going uh, CQC. Um, holding the, the blade and the, the bolt pistol. Very large blade for CQC, but, st but st a bit unwieldy, I guess. Um, but still, um, probably going around a corner about to fire something off. Got some grenades as backup as well. Um, so that's a little look at all of those uh, space moons. Did I cover this guy sort of running with the combat blade? Extra pouches? Probably not, but yeah, you can see the rebreathers are on all of them, but only one of them gives you that option to, um, you know, plug it into his mouth. And there is a gap for that um, to, to go, the snorkel to go into his mouth, which is quite cool. So that's all of the, the scouts up close. Uh, let's have a look at these uh, spare parts then. So, wow. It's not quite um, Stern Guard uh, esque, but look at all these spare parts. I had to keep them in a, a box that there's just so many of them. So yeah, look at these, wow. So you get the uh, the other cloak there, um, which only goes on one of them. Um, get a number of shotguns, you get that sniper rifle, uh, combat blades, bolt guns, full bolt guns as well. Uh, I'm not sure whether you could use these um, for Primaris. I think their arms are a bit, a bit shorter. Um, but I'd like to see people try. Uh, yeah, you've got the holstered bolt gun, which again could go on any model really, uh, even a Primaris, even like a Stone Guard. You've got all of these, um, like basically mats, <laughs> you know. Um, I just, yeah, I just didn't feel right putting mat the, the, the sort of camping mat things on, uh, on these scouts. Um, I don't know why, I just, I just didn't. My, my old scouts do have them, uh, but these I didn't. Here's that extra heavy bolter ammunition. It just looks a bit odd with that just being blank rather than instead of you seeing the live rounds in there. So yeah, I've kept that off. Um, 
you know that's obviously the spare part you know everything you see here is then duplicated in the spare parts you know there's another um, missile launcher and another heavy bolter all these bolt guns all these bolt pistols um all the heads so the heads you see there are also duplicated you know the um holsters with the bolt guns and the bolt um and the the ones that don't have the uh, bolt guns in the empty ones you've got the all specs there which again could go on any any space marine really uh yeah you've got shotguns and so on uh, another um uh, chain sword chain blade i think it's the same one i don't think you get uh four in the set so there's a decent number of parts which yeah you, you could probably use for other space mains at a push so yeah if you if you want some extra scout parts and things yeah you could you could use these i don't know whether you could use them with the old old kits i think the arms are just a bit too long um for the older space marine scouts but there you go plenty of shotguns and things i guess you could probably mod mod them and give them shotguns and give your older model shotguns if the sizes sort of match up so that's all the spare parts quite a few okay so size comparisons then um first up uh we'll just compare them to I say what we had before, the older um, Space Marine Scouts. Uh, the sizes didn't change from metal to plastic. They they literally just turned them into plastic. So here's the, the metal models. Um, yeah, I've only got this one that stood up, but uh, it really is the case of um, don't talk to me or my son again. If you can see the size difference there, wow. Um, there's a much bigger size discrepancy now between uh, the primary scouts as i'm now calling them uh, and the old um, space marine scouts more of a discrepancy than primaris and normal space marines i'll tell you that right now uh, so these scouts really were uh, pretty small so they're the two sergeants um, and that's what we've we've got um which which do you prefer <laughs> i want to say these scouts used to be like four quid for two metal ones um and now we're at 37 pound 50 for uh well for 10 um so you know double the price a bit of a price increase um but uh but yeah that's one of them um i haven't got a missile launcher uh scout standing up so it's not really a fair comparison but I I think this this old one looks way cooler, way way cooler, I think. Um, but that's metal for you. Metal does have a fair amount of detail. Um, but look at the size of the missile launcher. Um, very similar size. The plastic one's only a tiny bit bigger. So there is that. Uh, and then the sniper. Uh, <laughs> kind of covered up with a complete bush there but um you know probably not the best size comparison but yeah i did like a camo cloak thing um but yeah give you an idea of, of those purely for sort of size comparisons and um, then uh comparing them to some newer models so we have a i think that's a stern guard i think um this might be a, a decent uh, comparison for you um, we'll go have one stood up. So they're kind of the same size. Like <laughs> Primaris, the, spe the actual Space Marines are, are just the non-scouts. <laughs> so the actual Primaris Space Marines in the power armor are only a little bit bigger. Um, you know, le leg height is the same. Um, torso height is the same. It's just the chest and maybe the head. Just a little bit bigger on the stern guard. Um, and again, this stone guard is fully erect. <laughs> um, so if you've got some scouts near some Primaris, they're going to work uh, very, very well. Um, not like the old, you know, scouts and the Space Marines where there was a big height difference anyway um, to begin with. Um, there's a bigger discrepancy here than um, your new scouts and your, your new Primaris. Uh, moving to something slightly bigger, I guess. Terminator and uh, so look how big this Terminator looks next to next to the Scout. This is sort of what I'd expect Space Marine compared to a Scout. Um, so this is um, so this is a bigger sort of size size difference here just gives you an idea of how big these these Terminators really are. 
and then why not um, we have a primaris dreadnought uh, so um, that's where they're going to measure up next to him probably best giving you that angle for size comparisons and then the final comparisons is just with a normal primaris which sort of already done slight marbo and a normal space marine so this might be interesting for you uh, they are bigger so the new primaris scouts are bigger than the old space marines um, i know it's a different era uh, but Space Marines, Space Marines, whatever. Um, we have Mark III and Mark VI. I just thought this would be an interesting comparison, even though they're completely different. Um, the Primaris Scouts are taller than the new Mark III. You'd expect them to be. They're Primaris. These are just Space Marines. And that is definitely the same for the Mark VI's as well. So they're probably like half a head taller um, than the um, Heresy Space Marines. So there is that. Slime Marbo, clearly the scouts are way bigger. And then compared to an actual Space Marine like we've done with the um, Stern Guard, uh, there's not much in it, probably half a head or so. And that's um, because of that, that power armor. And this is one of the upright Primaris Space Marines that I have. So they, they work well, they really do uh, with the rest of the range. It's just, if you're gonna be putting them with any of the old scouts, yeah, it's, it's just not gonna work. Um, you putting them on along with these, it's gonna make them look like Imperial Guard or something. Okay, this is my part of the review where I will go through all of the rules uh, for these brand new Space Marine Scouts. They do work similar uh, to the old Space Marine Scouts, except obviously not the sort of um, troops um, keyword. A Scout Squad uh, will cost you uh, 70 points for five models or 140 points for 10 models. Um, still pretty cheap, uh, you know, for five. You can get five infantry there for, for 70 points. I used to do that a lot just to fill up my uh, two troop choices. I used to have um, either two uh, units of five scouts or one unit of five and then a unit of five space marines or maybe 10 uh, just to fill that out and then a decent HQ like a force commander and then I used to, you know, spend all the points on Terminators, Land Raiders, uh, big things like that. So uh, their stat line reads, they're a movement of six inches, toughness four, saber four plus, two wounds, leadership six plus, and objective control uh, one. Super, how does that compare to an intercessor squad? Uh, well, they have exactly the same stat line, except um, their save is four plus instead of that power armor of three plus. Um, they still have the same number of wounds, but they only have objective control one, so might be worth picking intercessors for that, that extra um, better save and objective control. The unit composition has one scout sergeant and then between four and nine scouts. Every model is equipped with a bolt pistol, bolt gun, close combat weapon. Uh, their bolt pistol works as normal, it's a pistol weapon obviously. It's a range of 12 inches, it's a one shot, ballistic skill three plus, strength four, AP zero, damage one. It's all right. Um, the bolt gun is a 24 inch range weapon. It's got two attacks, uh, ballistic skill three plus, strength four, AP zero, damage one. Again, that's all right. Uh, the scout sergeant's bolt gun can be replaced with one Astartes chainsword. So then that gives him four attacks, uh, weapon skill of three plus, strength of four, AP minus one, damage one. So that's pretty decent. Any number of models can each have their bolt gun replaced with one of the following. An Astartes shotgun, a combat knife. So the combat knife uh, gives them three attacks each, weapon skill three plus, strength four, AP zero, damage one. So that's quite nice, you know, if you've got a squad of 10 of them, you, you're gonna be getting those 30 attacks. Um, well, four, well, 31 if you have the, the sergeant with the Astartes chainsword. And then the Astartes sh shotgun, uh, that is an assault weapon. It's a range of 18 inches. It's got two shots. It's ballistic skill three plus, strength four, AP zero, damage one. That's quite nice. I think the old rules uh, used to have it still with two shots, but it used to only be strength three. So it's nice to see it strength four, but I still struggle to believe that it's um, the same strength as a bolt gun, which is basically firing a, a miniature rocket propelled grenade that um, explodes upon insertion of uh, a soft target. Um, but hey, these shotguns might be pretty strong. Um, for every five models in this unit, one scout's bolt gun can be replaced with one scout sniper rifle. 
Yeah, I mean the Scout Sniper Rifle, it's a heavy precision weapon, it's a range 36 inches so it gives that gives one of your scouts that extra the reach. Uh, it's only got one shot, it's ballistic skill is only three plus rather than two plus old sniper rifle rules was a two plus to hit and a four plus to wound. Its strength is only four, its AP is minus two uh, and its damage is two. So it will go through armor and it will do a bit of damage. And then for every five models in this unit, one scout's bolt gun can replace with one uh, of the following one heavy bolter and one missile launcher. So it does mean that in a unit of 10, you'd have your sergeant, you'd have, um, you could have two sniper rifles and two heavy bolters or, or two missile launchers or, uh, or one of either of them, uh, like I kind of have. I think I've foregone um, one of the sniper rifles though, just because they're gonna look exactly the same. You can only build the sniper rifle scout as the sniper rifle scout. Uh, it will only fit on that, that model. A heavy bolter works as usual. It's a heavy weapon, sustained hits one. It's a range of 36 inches. It's three attacks, ballistic skill four plus, strength five, AP minus one, and damage two. It's pretty good. And then the missile launcher, you've got two uh, weapon profiles, either the frag missile, which is a blast heavy, 48 inch range, D6 attacks, uh, ballistic skill four plus, strength four, AP zero, and damage one. And then the crack missile is a heavy uh, one shot, uh, 48 inches, Ballistic skill 4 plus, strength 9, AP minus 2, and damage D6. So add in a few of the longer range weapons like the heavy bolters, the missile launchers, the sniper rifles, just gives your scouts that much reach rather than just equipping them all with shotguns or um, close combat weapons. Uh, they are quite survivable still with their uh, toughness 4 and their 2 wounds. Uh, it's just you've got to give them a bit more protection with that save of 4+. Plus. Their abilities then, they are infiltrators and their scouts 6 inches. Uh, faction is Oath of the Moment and they have guerrilla tactics. So at the end of your opponent's turn, if this unit is more than 6 inches away from all enemy models, you can remove this unit from the battle battlefield and place it into strategic reserves. Pretty good, they can basically vanish and you can put them in reserves, it's nice. Keywords, infantry, grenades, smoke, Imperium, scout squad. So there you go. Uh, that is my review of the uh, brand new scouts. They're a jack of all trades, but a master of none, uh, I think. They give you a bit of flexibility, but as we've seen with Terminators and Stern Guard and you know, other um, Primaris units, uh, it's just another excuse for um, Games Workshop to um, make scouts bigger and update them. Um, which is fine, you know, it's, it's good if you're building up a Primaris Force, if you wanted bigger uh, Space Marines. Uh, it's a decent kit, lots of uh, spare parts. Hopefully uh, it'll be available um, separately soon. But what do you guys think of these brand new Space Marine Scouts? Uh, do you think Games Workshop have done all that they can uh, to update them? Or do you think they should have included more? Please do put your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. It'd be great to hear from you. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for watching The Emperor Protects.